In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your Gemini assets like Bitcoin, Ethereum, or any other assets to another exchange from your Gemini crypto wallet. So you want to pay attention to this video. If you don't have a Gemini account or a Coinbase account, click on the link below so you can go ahead and get access to this because really, I'm going to use Coinbase as an example. I'm going to use Gemini as an example in this training. My name is Adam Shelton, and thank you for watching this video. For more videos, click on that like button. Hit that bell notification when I do videos like this for more videos to help you with your bank account strategy, growing that bank account, and also growing your brand a little bit on social media. So let's go ahead and dive into the content. So the first place you want to go, if I want to transfer some of my assets to a different exchange, I was like, you know what, I want to move some Bitcoin, I want to move some Ethereum, something like that, over to a different exchange, the first place I want to go is log into my Gemini account. So click on the link below to get access. If you don't have it already, click on transfer and then click on withdraw from Gemini. Now I did a video before about deposit money on Gemini, withdrawing funds from Gemini crypto wallet. Now we're going to talk about transferring your crypto assets from the Gemini crypto wallet to a different exchange. So we're going to use Coinbase as an example. This is Coinbase, so we're gonna use Bitcoin as an example. So click on the link below if you don't have Coinbase as well. I love Coinbase as well because Coinbase is still a good platform. Well, it's a good platform to buy and sell your assets. Gemini. So we're, let me go ahead and go here. So let's say I'm gonna go and do my Bitcoin. Now remember, you can check your asset balance over here to see how many assets do you have of any asset that you own. So I'm gonna do, Bitcoin is the asset and it says select destinations, transfer to. Well, how do I get here? You're probably wondering. Well, on Coinbase, if I go to home, I can go to my portfolio or I could just click on actually a Bitcoin. And did you see this send and receive? Click on send and receive and then receive because I'm trying to receive the actually address from Coinbase. If I click on there, it's automatically gave me an address. It's automatically calculated address for me. If I copy this, I copy this address and I'll put it right here, like so, just like that. See that address there, copy. I just clicked on there to copy it or highlight it, or I can use a QR code so I can scan this on my mobile device. If I was doing this from my phone, I can actually scan this QR code and then place it. But I don't really need to do all that because actually Gemini doesn't have the QR code, so I'll take that back. Normally, if you could do that if Gemini accept the QR code, but Gemini does not accept the QR code. So other exchanges, you can do that. Maybe that's something down in the future Gemini does accept, but um, we're just gonna go continue. Click on continue there. Okay, so now it's telling me my amount. This is the address from Coinbase. This is Bitcoin. And then now it's saying, okay, withdraw amount, how much? Now I can only maximize this amount because that's how much is actually in my asset balance. So I put max, it's gonna match this because that's the same amount. That's a max that I really could do. Because I can only do this amount. And then if I click on continue, it's gonna say that withdraw, you know, type of information. Please ensure the accuracy of this address since Bitcoin transfer are irre irreversible it's true so once you transfer this over that's it and so you want to go back over to make sure this is correct and you know sometimes i do this <laughs> sometimes i do like a notepad you know just to just to make sure so i was like let me just make sure so even though that is the address there and i'll just kind of match it on my notepad just to match it <laughs> Just to match it to make sure it all matches, which it does, you just never know. So make sure you match it. I use a notepad just to make sure to compare it. Cause just like it says right here, it's irreversible, <laughs> irreversible. So once that goes, that's that's it. So anyway, so this, what happens now is you will request the withdrawal and it usually take, you know, it may take a little time for the withdrawal to be confirmed. And then within that, within a short amount of time, it shouldn't take too long for that to go to my Coinbase account. So request withdraw, click on there, and that's all it is. And then what happens is it will go 
it will go right here. So if I go ahead and withdraw this, so if I request a withdraw, I'll show you what it looks like. Now it's offering me an enter your authentication code to continue. You get this when you sign up on the Gemini account, you automatically will get this. You will set this up as a security preference or a security measure, I should say. So I'm gonna type in my account. And the request draw is being executed immediately. We're seeing this and my code is all in there. And then now it should go into my Bitcoin. It says, have you have requested a transfer of this amount of Bitcoin to your Coinbase wallet? Now you notice this is gone. You see no numbers in there. So my asset balance of my Bitcoin is gone and it's being moved over to here. If I go to, if I go to my, let me refresh this. And so now Bitcoin is on its way. It should be re receiving here, I'm gonna home portfolio. So this should actually get filled up pretty soon. So it's, it'll probably take some time for it to get there. So the request is being executed and that should be there pretty momentarily soon. So that's what works. It's always on this, it's already on the way. So that Bitcoin's being transferred to the Coinbase. So it'll probably take a couple of minutes for it to get there. So I just wanted to show you that this does work and it's on its way. And that's how you transfer your assets to one place to another. I use Gemini and Coinbase as an example. So I will basically be waiting to see this come in. But Stay tuned for more videos like this to show you how to grow your bank account and, and little tricks and a little bit of tips of, of what to look out for as well in terms of assets and, of course, growing your brand as well. I'm Adam Shelton. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to this channel and click on the links below to get access to Coinbase and Gemini because they're really good exchanges for you to be using on a daily basis. And I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.